Welcome back to Let's Play Room Factory Oceans. That was incredibly convoluted, needlessly so. Probably would have been better if to use. Well, I, I went about it prompting them up in the ass way. I was like, okay, sign in to the PSN. I'm like last time. It's like, okay, you gotta go this. So I did that. You got the option of a QR scan, but it's like, eh. It's, it's like, okay, let's use it with the laptop, and... Need to say, sign in on the PS3, it's convoluted. Took about as long as it, well, longer than it takes me to set up for a recording. Yeah, you know? Don't like it. <laughs> the reason I sign in is because, you know, trophies. I want them to be synced up. But, you know, I don't think you're going to get a trophy anymore. Well, actually, I don't really know. Hmm. I do wonder, though, what these other movies are. I mean, you got it right up to the epilogue there, so all of these must be like either post game or. So what one is this? When did we get to see? In the first one, in the, I don't know. It's definitely gonna be a night version as well. I wonder if these might be related to. Uh, well, at the same time, I don't really remember if that's gonna get married in this game. Rune Factory. Let's get on with. Upload the previous part the other day, it's the 21st now. I was originally going to, you know, record yesterday, but, you know, I had terrible quality sleep, horrible vivid nightmares and all that, and it was just kind of thrown off, and so I didn't record yesterday, so here I am today. This morning even, because it's, it's quite early. 12th, it's not the 21st, like I just said. I off screen went through a day or two, but because it's not fresh in my mind, I can't remember how many days. Might have just been one or two. Well, yeah, it would have just been one or two. So on Thursday, you may be wondering why. Well, it's because, you know, Jocelyn's on the island and I've accepted the request. Did I accept the request? Well, I, I can check that. Yeah. And now that she's on the island, we can do that. Anything else I should know here? It's trouble with it, you know? This was quite a while back, because, you know, I off screen went through that a day or two right after the previous record session, so it's not fresh in my memory. Guess I made this for her, because why not? I also checked. Have we got her birthday? No, we don't. Hmm. Birthday is on the 19th of winter. Or it was around about this time of winter. A lot of birthdays in winter, but again, summer. Nobody gives a shit about summer in this game, birthday wise. You only got two, and that's in the first two weeks. Like I said, you know. Candy's birthday is somewhere in spring, possibly the same birthday as Lily. No, it wouldn't actually. It would be... Oh yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? She only shows up on Tuesday, so I think it was the 27th, actually. I thought the 21st. That's where her birthday is. And... Tabitha's birthday is somewhere in fall. It was either 12th or 18th, it was about when I... Actually, it's... What day? <laughs> yeah, it was the 12th, yeah. This was the very first day we met her. And, uh, and it's the 4th of winter. So, not a lot going on in summer, is there? Oh! It's been quite a while since I've seen you. <laughs> what guys are. That's a new kind of 
uh, greeting there. I think kind of feels fitting. It's like, yeah, it has been quite a while. All right, me in Rune Factory 4. I, I actually have been recently playing a bit. Not much of it out to really uh, comment on it. It's nothing real, not really. But in that game, if you have a party member with you and you save the game, then close the game and reload it, they'll be like, oh, you're back. Well, they'll like to ask me if there was anything I wasn't so sorry about the island. Let's see. <laughs> Trying to listen to it, you know, anyway, because there's nothing any big. Blah, 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 blah. I'll be able to read that. I've read that. And I'll be Good morning. The day is full of promise, isn't it? Oh, Adine. Adine, is there any particular girl that you are fond of? Ah. Uh... What makes you ask that? Oh, no particular reason, just wondering. They're all... they've all got the hearts for a D. And, you know, that, that's one thing it could be. In Room 34, for whatever reason, you can only marry one gender, much like in this game. So it's like... If you play as the male protagonist, you can only marry the girls. If you're the female protagonist, you can only marry the males. But despite that, they will all seemingly kind of have dialogue where they hint that there's something there, you know, and it's a bit kind of odd how it just pops up like that, because the relationship is not an option there. It's just like... <laughs> and there's one character, oh, what was his name? Uh, Leon. He kind of like, he kind of teases you a lot, but then during the uh, sleepovers, if you say something that's kind of like, it's like, you know, right? it's just like, it's always just all those guys being here instead. I don't need any girls around here, and you kind of take it that you're like, uh, you know, uh, yeah. And he just kind of goes, I'll be sleeping on this side. Like, this dialogue with some of the cats kind of feels all over the place. Anyway, what am I doing? Do I just, yeah, just got the strawberry jam, I guess. Let me just check. Yeah, I did make something for it as well. Oh, this looks delicious. I'll have to eat it later. <laughs> also, I've finally completed the sign out to let's play. Recording wise, anyway. And even that's not technically true. <laughs> so it's just like really not, really there, isn't it all really there, is it? But I haven't done the after I'll be top for it yet, but that's pretty much all I need to record for it. About uh, 16 or so parts long. Not a very long one, but my god, was that this is not the fucked up whole parts. Oh, I do love grilled fish. I'll accept your gift gladly. Like, I've also, you know, already decided on the next Let's Play for the end channel after that as well. The Death Mark. And, you know, I've also been thinking about, you know, Persona 3, I still keep one on hold, and I thought... The bare minimum requirement for me to start that Let's Play is to get through the end game of this one World Next Order. That's the bare minimum. But at the same time, I've been thinking. Uh, in, I think it was some point last year, might have been earlier this year, I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, Commodore requested asking if I'd ever think about Let's Playing Undertale. And I've never really given it much thought, you know, in the past, because it just seemed like a game that I was aware of. Inspired by, like, Earthbound and stuff like that. I like Earthbound and Mother 3. But, you know, it has this kind of, like, uh, toxic fan base kind of thing to it. But I'm not sure if it's even really all that toxic or not. It's just, like, it's just the idea of it. And the idea that it's a very popular game, so... It's like, I'm like a hipster or something. No, I only play the most underground games possible. But I am kind of curious to check that out. And the reason I'm playing that up here is... I know, I don't know how long that game is, but, you know, if, when I get around to Let's Play in Persona 3, that kind of closes the door on, you know, Let's Play 
potential let's play that anytime soon. So I'm thinking maybe let's play that. And then after that, Persona 3? I don't know, what do you really think? I mean, I, I ask questions like this. Well, not like a question like that, but, you know, anytime I ask this, like, so what do you really think of that? So, all this, uh, anyone have any idea on that? This, of course. You just don't get a response, but still, I thought I'd throw that out there. Good morning. Let's do our best today. I mean, really, the only thing I know about Undertale is how some of the characters look. It's apparently got great music, it has some inspiration from the Earthbound series. As a dedicated fan base that can or sometimes be toxic, but I guess that's you know, with anything with really, fan bases. You know, the the more people uh, there are, the more likely you're gonna get some toxic. Music. And the only other things I know about it gameplay wise is that you can go through the whole game as a pacifist or just destroy everyone in your path. And I wouldn't know how to approach you because I don't even know what the game plays like. Got to come up with new dishes, but uh, it can be just as exciting to find ways to improve existence. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I know you would understand it, Ian. That's why I'm just going to focus on improving dishes that I know and take a break from trying to think of new ones for a while. Pickles. You make me this? You're so talented. I want to check someone real quick. Yeah, our dad is very close. The next day will be end her nine friendship events, which will put her one friendship event away from being maxed out. And since, like I said, done to marry a dad, that's gonna be the canon one. But like I said, you know, I'm gonna make a save file probably in this record session, because, you know, the song is nearly maxed out already. You know, just to make an all save file so that everyone can go back and be like, okay, let's see how it goes if you, like, uh, go with, uh, you know, Pandora or Violet. Those are the current working ones I've got in mind. And even then, I'm like, if I have, can be ballers. Because I remember when I played the game back in the day and it got very tedious. But maybe, you know, because of the way I let's play it, I'm only playing it every now and then, just for two parts. And, you know, off screen go for a few days or something like that. Doesn't feel quite as tedious as when I was, you know, playing the game for hours back in the day. So, I'll definitely make this let's play longer, that's for sure. Speaking of long let's plays, at the end of my sign to let's play, I was like, thought, you know, it's kind of on the short end for my let's plays, and even on that channel, but then I remembered that I did like really short visual novel let's plays when I started that channel. So oh my, good it's morning. It's longer than that, but why? Good morning. I do hope you'll have a good day. I also was like, okay, in editing, I'm going to, you know, do the math on how many parts in total the Higurashi Let's Play was, because it's split into, uh, you know, different arcs. You've got the question arcs and answer arcs, and I've got individual playlists. For Add all that up, including, you know, some parts that were kind of mostly bonus parts and stuff like that, where, like, in just be one or two or three or so in the mix. The 306 parts or something like that. It's like, that's a lot of parts. But then I come in there's like, you know, Clan had Let's Play on the main channel all those years ago, probably, well, there's like, got way more parts than that, and I, I did the math on that too, and it's an astonishing 572 or something like that, in total, part-wise. That's just insane. Now listen carefully, we will be forced to make some very important decisions on board. Just remember to stay true to yourself. If you do that, you'll never forget to uh, regret the decisions you make. I'm telling you this because there are certain choices that you can't go back on. Wind's already gone on ahead. Uh, there's no wonder these videos are so long. I have barely got through my morning routine here because of all my rambling. Good morning. Good morning. 
<laughs> I'm collecting lots of different accessories. What I want most right now is magic ring and magic powers. Does it really though? Oh, I've also unlocked Emery Flowers at 34. I guess that's a one note really thing I should mention as well. Like, when I was playing it earlier, just like, before we got this, finally got them unlocked. It'll just take over a hundred days, apparently, for it to grow. I could speed the process up a little bit with the uh, formula thing, but that's insane. Time it takes. Good morning. I love making accessories in the crafting area of my house. <laughs> if you're interested in making accessories, well, feel free to use the crafting area. I've got better crafting area, no bet. We all want all the sports materials, which is a bit lacking. I don't think I have anything to do. Oh, morning. This <sighs> my lady Electra does all the maid work, I have lots of free time. Uh -huh. I'll keep cleaning the bathhouse, I still uh, wander around the mansion on the island. Oh, did I even read all that right? Wait. What? Oh yeah, it's because I've got so many toy herbs. Let's see. Can I really have this? I won't give it back to you even if you ask for it, you know. Good morning! I wonder what we'll be having for lunch! It's so fun to think about! I suppose I'll have to occasionally act like a real bear. That's fun when I think, oh, what could really happen if I didn't? Then I find my husband on the line Good morning! And I think one difference between this game, well, there's plenty. When Rune Fender 4, it feels like you get around really quickly, and I think the reason for that is, you know, it doesn't have these wide open areas. It's, it's kind of it's like 2D, but not quite 2D. It's kind of like some kind of in between. It's not like fully where you control the camera, it's just all in one perspective. It's really morning. smaller. Good morning. Today's turning out to be a good day. I love people who greet you with a smile. And I always find that kind of weird, you know, how some people do that in real life, you know. Just kind of like, you know, walk, you just walk past them and they'd be like, hello. It's like, hello. I mean, maybe it's because I'm not really <laughs> the most sociable person and I'm like, you know, social anxiety and stuff, but it's just like, I just find it odd how some people do that. But imagine it with like a big ass smile. I mean, some people do. But what if they had like a slasher smile? Wouldn't be so, you know, charming then, would it? Good morning! You know what I don't get is, you know, uh, that kind of smile people put on, you know, when getting a picture taken. You know, that one baring the teeth. Especially, you know, celebrities and you know, uh, famous people in general. They have this kind of crazy look like, I don't know, just the teeth. Just make them look like they're just like, I don't know, just gonna, I don't know. <laughs> it just seems a bit, just like it's kind of a crazy look. A Wait, you just morning. pop it right behind me. Hmm. You have not neglected your morning audience with me. Excellent. I once dwelt in a suburb of Citadel. Suburb, I mean, not a suburb of Citadel, what the fuck? Trees were withered, it was ringed by poisonous uh, swamps, and its invariants haunted by humans and monsters. Hmm. Thinking back now, it was not really such a pleasant locale. Jewels possess magic. I will take possession of this one. Let's get that request going. It's nice to see you again. It's been a while. I've been waiting. Uh, does today's request have something to do with archaeology again? 
Today's request I was posted on there quite a while back. Hmm. It does. Could you lend me your sea chart for a moment? I'd like you to ha head over to the place I marked on your sea chart. There should be a building under the sea there. Do you see that in a book? No. This time I've deduced that something should be there. Okay. I, I <laughs> Maybe it's not what I think it is. It could be, but I don't know. I remember the Colosseum. Well, I don't really remember where the Colosseum was. I remember seeing it mentioned in the. Uh, I checked on the Ruin Factory wiki. It seemed like. Description wise, it's close to where Fennif Island is, but that's quite far out. Actually, what's it? That's Desert Island. Uh, wait. So, no. Hmm. No. Can't remember if it was Earth Spirit Shrine or Fire One. You know, because I'm still missing that one flower monster. It's the, uh... I've already forgotten what it was called. <laughs> I think it's in... No. Uh, where's Jungle Island? Um... Yeah, down here. I mean, I could just have him teleport me over there and then teleport me over here. Well, I don't really feel like doing that right now, anyway, so I just uh, teleported up here. Just make my way down here, I suppose. Did you find it? I haven't even left yet. That's an interesting staff, a type I've never really seen before. I can have this. Thank you very much. Morning there. How you feeling? Mm. What's my least favorite part of the island? Hmm. <laughs> Fact of mine, knowing Grandpa lives here. Um... She's already gone ahead, isn't she? Possibly. Or maybe not. Where are you? Knew it! I should've just gone with my intuition on that. She's probably already in the building. Right. Wait. No. I made you ice cream. I forgot. Morning. I'm gonna chow down on this. Mm. Mm. Thanks. This is Sierra. You're gonna take a million years. You haven't even got your initial, you know, post-game friendship events. That's so far behind all the other girls who use there. So we play the waiting game. A game that has been played so many times. Don't push me. Uh. Hey, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed? That's how young folk ought to be. Have you ever had dry food on earth? You gotta eat that. Just try it one time. I mean, whatever. Don't try it or change your life. I just couldn't be asked to read now. I mean, I haven't read it multiple times, but I've read it before. I'm like, I just can't be asked to read all this. Sometimes I'll just get I just like, you know what? I can't even be asked to read that dialogue. Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling today? 
you know, it's interesting because, you know, these characters are all maxed out these days, you know, but I still talk to them every day anyway because, you know, it's a consistent thing. <laughs> Just be like, can you imagine that? I've maxed, well, that would be like Persona then, really, wouldn't it? It's like, I've maxed out all the social links, so I will never hang out with you ever again. Good that snowballs and fall in some places. Yeah. I think you could put that full snow in a bottle and sell it. But, you know, not in the place where it's, you know, it's from, because then it'd be like, are you serious? I can just pick up that whenever the hell I want. Be doing well today? Long time ago, my brother bought me back a tiny toy gold souvenir. I took it apart and used it to make my first gold. So, yeah, it's this guy I always have around my hips. You know, I remember getting that dialogue while I was off the go for the uh, day or two. Now, we hear it in the box. So, yeah. Whoa! I've been wanting this! Thanks! You're a lifesaver! So I'm just should be on the move. He's already in the entry. Yep. Good morning! Let's have a great day! Mm, I don't think that's quite the right look for you. It's just like, oh, you can't wear the cat ears. It doesn't look right on you. It's better on me. And, you know, Bismarck is also dumbing down as well. And he kind of mocks us a bit. He's like, you so bitch. Oh, uh, your eyes. Thanks. I knew you'd remember about my sweet tooth. See how far along that is now. Yeah, it's still got a little ways to go, but it's very close. And it's gonna be very, very awkward. Let me just tell you that, because, you know. Like I said, on this main save file, you're gonna have a dead. That means you, 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 and you, when the time comes, are going to be rejected <laughs> when the romance option comes up. And it's gonna be awkward for Sanja's one, and it's going to be, you know, a bit heart-crushing for Violet's one. I can't quite remember the other ones. I remember Makoto's vaguely, and it's kind of amusing. Well, it stands out in my memory, because it has this music that kind of swells up. It's like, love is in the air, and it just cuts off the second you decline the option to take the relationship further. It's kind of hilarious. Good morning. <laughs> what are you selling? A bunch of shit. Thank you so much. And... I guess I've got too many of these at this point. Thank you so much. And some of these. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sell a few of these. Thank you so much. The uh, trouble with this game is, you know, at this point Thank I've got so much. so much money and nothing to use. I've got basically almost so all of the, you know, house upgrades. The only ones I haven't got are the ones that I'm deliberately putting off. Not because I can't afford them, but because I don't see the point in getting them until, you know, by marriage. <laughs> oh, it's a very attractive. It looks wonderful on you, really. Just as I was talking about that, wasn't I? This is what I meant. He's mocking us. It's like, oh, you were like complimented on the scarf, but the cat ears going too far for you, Bismarck. What will it be? I'll break your damn glasses. How many do you need? I'll send it to your monster shed. Goto, kindly let me tag along. I think I need to be a bit better shape before I try that. Right, that's everyone's up to, right? 
So, let's go check out the island that is buried beneath the waves. If it's the Colosseum, it's gonna be a very, 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 very tough uphill back to get to that. Even back in the day, I never got through the whole thing. I got through some of the challenges, but it's just, it's just insane. The challenges get ridiculous. So, it's somewhere around here on the map. Should I go here or here? I did think, you know, Desert Island. But, at the same time, got that awkward little bit of land there, so... Got the flames for a try. For some reason, there's envisioned as he's like about to roar. Just pictured the Godzilla roar in place of that. Right. Let's see. It is a bit further. Now that I'm looking at it like that. Shouldn't be a problem though. Probably in the middle of that kind of stall looking area. Double check, yep, we're in the right. Uh, pound. Oh, no monsters. Yep, this is the place. Ta da! Post game extravaganza! I mean, this one of the areas you can actually put down. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Colosseum, and where the island savior abandoned. Well, at least that makes it so, you know, me going through the pain in the ass, processing, you know, signing into the PSN. It's worth it, because now I've got a new trophy to sink up. I think that trophy is for uh, raising all of the islands on the map. I guess it does include the small islands. I don't think I've raised them some Maybe I have, though, I don't know. I feel like this is a bad idea. I can teleport out of here if I need to, right? I don't particularly want to, you know, uh, try this without back. Basically, see all these statues around here? Now you can only expect one. That's because you gotta clear each challenge. Ah, screw it. This is a real bad idea. I'll show you why. Round one! Fights! Okay, round one's easy. I'm kind of underselling this stuff. Well, Raw I was kind of overselling that stuff. But, this is just the start. This is, you know, this isn't even really a warm up. We're gonna be facing monsters like this. Loads of monsters. They'll get tougher and tougher. You know, even, you know, they'll get more fairy and tougher. And, and there'll be a lot of them like this, and you gotta take them all out. Just like this. Starting to wonder if they just respawn in. Definitely at this point, they want. I hope not. Because I would apply this trick to this. Be like that. Oh, never mind. It's just reminiscent of uh, that one type of monster you'd have to fight occasionally in uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. When you're uh, 
But it's worse when your daughter's wolf link gets it's more of a pain you have to take the whole house. You play Twilight Princess, you probably don't want to talk about it. Well, these first rounds are kind of, uh, you know, make it seem like I'm really overhyped. Trust me, it's gonna get worse. So much worse. This, this may seem easy at first. But you know, uh, I'm not too bad. Make it, you know, my own. I need to get like sorter. How the Colosseum challenges start off really easy. Down. Eventually get to a point where it's like, holy shit. Like, you saw that, that thing blasting right here, obviously. How they're attacking the like, fucking kids. Just picture that, right? But it actually doing a lot of damage. That's how this is gonna be, eventually. Have I even got anything to cure my poison? I'm not sure. It's insane how little RP this is taken up by these guys. Meanwhile, doing something as simple as rushing a monster makes it more. Makes no sense. Ah, uh, a control disconnect. Okay, but come. No, stop disconnecting. Ah. Uh, come on. Oh, come on, you bastard! I'm dying here! Ah. Uh, uh, that was annoying. It's this, uh, pitiful USB, you know, charger. It's very small, very short. What can I use to heal myself here? Oh, I've still got the old one, Curry. Uh, I'm woefully underpaid poison, aren't I? You know what? It's been there for a long time. I can deal with eating it now. Ah. After this, I need to get the fuck out of here. Well, I can that poison one off. I've leveled up for the first time in centuries! Ah, uh, these flying enemies are so annoying. They're hard to hit. And they poison you from a distance. It's perfect with my monsters here, because they're mid level up. As well as, you know, backing up in spite. I mean, they only took one hit and I'm poisoned again. But fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I've also just now realized that this causes Indian time. It certainly makes things you now a little easier because I wouldn't have to worry about it. Uh, most of the games get through one back. Wait, I'm after this. I'm, I'm done with that. Come on. Getting a bit more kill. The poison is certainly not helping. The only thing is, these monsters don't seem to drop anything either. Not that they drop anything useful, but still. rely on potions. Chug it down. Still haven't got that trophy for being heavily medicated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ow. And we're done. Hooray! Let me shove down all of this. Come on, give me that trophy. Guess I haven't chugged down enough. I mean, it, despite how long this Let's Play has been going on for, I still haven't apparently chugged down a hundred potions. I suppose it makes sense because I don't think I use the potions much, and even when I do, the Dean being an idiot 
tends to, you know, take it so that it's completely pointless. You can still just be like, I'm gonna take my time and then get knocked the hell out. Because, of course. I know, it's. I just. I also just really like remembering, it's like, yeah. Just go into the Coliseum, that, you know, unearthing that, that's completely just a quest. So, yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm back. Welcome back. Did you find the Coliseum? How did you know it was the Coliseum as well as I'm That's not how you spell Coliseum. Yes, there was a round arena made of knocks. Well then! My intuition was right, thank you. I'm investigating about the ancient civilizations around Fennif Island. It's such rewarding research. I'm sure I'll be asking for your help again soon. And got some money for it. <laughs> again, kind of pointless in this game. Hey! Yo! Did you find something good? Yeah, I found a call soon where I can get my ass kicked any day. What are you selling? I'm gonna sell this hat that I'm gonna make. No, I'm not gonna sell the fancy hats. <laughs> not that I saw the defense properties of it. I'm keeping that. Could I have this though? Thanks. Not even gonna try to, you know. Uh, uh what's the word? Uh, hang. Oh, that. Hmm. My least favorite player on the island is my grandpa being such a asshole, I guess. Oh yeah, it's actually uh let's check. Cat ears, 64 and 50. Yeah, this is an upgrade. I look silly now. I'm gonna sell the cat ears because soon. Space now. The cat ears days didn't last long, did they? <laughs> what are you selling? Oh, and then I've lost value too. Thanks. Hey. Hey, drop by anytime. Drop by again. I usually talk at the end of that. I say skip that. When you find monsters that never seem like you just keep being as people going. Just break the whirlpool like thing and eat them and they'll stop with you. I call it a monskies. <laughs> this hat does not match the rest of your costume at all. Uh, right, so we're 43 minutes into this. And, you know, I'm gonna be checking on the island monsters. Uh, you know, the off screen anyway. So, let me just double check this. Yeah. Actually, I was just. Hey, Jocelyn! Again. I mean, it's gonna take forever, but still, at least it's gonna get in there. I'm gonna off screen basically the rest of the day. So, that'll do for this part. Next part will start at the start of the next day. So I should see you next time. See you next time.